Feeny is a verbiage original cartoon on Disney Channel. You know, the guy who worked, used to work on SpongeBob and Family Guy and Jeff Marsh was known about the series that both creators widely hate Disney's monopoly and the show's real cost except goes beyond the children's cartoon. An episode by Dr. Heinz Dr. real concept was produced secretly by the part of staff who ran the risk of twice, even the original voice actors. The episode leaks of what they can an ominous to up little trendy cartoon form. That day, my computer was doing an annoying noise whisk. My big brother insisted to check it up on the CPU was literally going to burn up. Anyway, I got into that form for the thread was posted by what really knew you so that posted the last episode. I had some time to download it before having to put my go to my grandparents' house. We got back at ten, at one AM. As soon as I got home, I started the episode as I expected. My computer make, kept making the noise. The episode was called The Horrible Death of Phineas. And according to the summary, this is an alternate episode to the one where they were ca- caught in the of Smile Away Camp. In this episode, it's so, so to be common. Phineas and Ferb episode. Chirpho, nice, cute, and begins with this, which means Ferb having uh, Isabella's troop to help them pimp up the car to make it fly and to build the airport tower. This time, the a huge crowd is present to witness this masterpiece. Meanwhile, Perry the Power Force is called by Major Monogram to fight Doomish Woods, but it doesn't sound funny or anything. He tells Perry that he must stop him. But it doesn't explain why. Once he goes to stop Doofus Burger in his headquarters, the doctor explains that he's truly fed up of being treated like that, and all his plans have gone wrong to try to kill everyone using a real atomic bomb. The Doofus Burger draws a real gun and fires against Perry, who is forced to <laughs> to run away because he can't find him while he has a gun. The gun is able to hurt as it makes chores and the little balls and ceiling. It escape follows the complete, demented, and cruel, red eyed Jewish boy who had an angry expression that was rather horrifying and scary. He has gone mad. Act 2 starts with the funeral. I mean, he just very enjoying a short, but static. Uh, uh, Experience sequence and Perry is almost killed, but luckily manages to dodge the shot. When they go get to Perry's Phineas backyard, Ken extracts asks to see Phineas for his invention as in every episode. Then Phineas walks to his mama to show her the flying car, but in the exact moment, Juice opens fire to Perry, dodges the bullet. And the stop motion sequence shows how he accidentally shoots Phineas when it hits him. Everything turns black and white and high and sick by Emogen Heap, please. Phineas is lying in the, hall, the, the lawn, but with the power and his own blood drawn in the habitable Phineas and Ferb style. The video goes back to the colors when Phineas is in the lawn and is Noticeable, there's a bright red pile of blood. The crowd glares, horrified at Doobie Sports, and the scene cuts after showing Phineas lying over the pile of his own blood, staring at the sky. It's there. Act 1 ends. Act 2 begins with a funeral, and now everything seems extremely depressing. The monitor is mostly black, and the stained glass windows. Which lights the room in oh, the pressing mother called tune. A tone. Candace, Linda, and Lawrence and Ferb look very forlorn. The explorer laments as well. And the camera sh- shows t- 
two insufferable moments of Isabel crying on her soul. It sh- sounds real as if the voice actors were actually crying to make this scene. Candace in extreme grief regrets about this while fiercely hitting Phineas's coffin, crying that it wouldn't have happened if she didn't try to catch him. Act 2, Catch Up All Bleed to Black. Act 3 begins with the label two days later on on which Phineas's house is seen from the outside, but it's dark, cloudy and gloomy. Cassidy's room, extremely stressed and with a white smile and, a, and hanging in a rope in the ceiling, while humming the Beatles song, Yellow Stumbling, Johnny happily enters to the house through the backyard. Goes to the kitchen and, after offering condolences to Linda, he has for Candace. Linda happily tells him that she's upstairs, but when Jeremy enters the room, he sees the toy that Candace has seen herself and died a few minutes ago. Jeremy takes down the corpse and passionately kisses it, but when Linda sees he's if everything is alright, and after seeing this, he, she screams, Jeremy, how could you? Thinking that Jeremy choked her to death. After do that, we cut to a scene where Phineas' parents, Philip, Isabella, Rajit, Buford, Dr. Dumas, for his ex wife, Charlene, and daughter, Arthur Vanessa, Major Monogram, Carl, and Penny are in a prison selection show with Dumas' voice in it. All of them had twisted in six miles the purest, unhealthiest, sadistic joy. He begs for mercy, but when Major Monogram and and orders to proceed with execution, Perry, smiling in a sick and morbid way, switches on the chair. Right before his death, a sequence of real photos can be seen, showing a man wearing a lab coat with a little girl playing and walking at a park. All of these actors don't look like Jewish boys and Vanessa, but they clearly represent them. After that, the last thing he sees is Vanessa kissing passionately with his mother. It was so interesting that puked on my keyboard. Doing sure Smiley dies brutally. I like to cure on small letters for his length and his suffering. At the end, Philip says something like, Arani is cruel, but not much as hell. The episode ends with Jewish's life was by being thrown in a pile of decaying corpses among which Jeremy's is still fresh. The next morning, I looked again for the episode. Google has shown, among other undesirable results, of the same form. But the user was banned, and the file possibly no longer exists. The end.